Hi everyone, this is AFC RD TV and welcome to highlights of Deeping Rangers against AFC Russian and Diamonds from the Kremlin Sports and Trophies UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. The last time Diamonds were in action was two weeks ago in the very important 1-1 draw at Hull Beach. And first team manager Andy Peaks made two changes to that starting 11. Charlie Butt and Richard Bunting both coming into the side. And it was the Diamonds that would have the first main opportunity on goal. A swinging corner coming in from Richard Bunting. And there was defender Liam Dolman to head past home keeper Daniel Burcham to give the Diamonds the lead in the 13th minute. However, deeping was certainly a match for Diamonds at certain periods here. Home striker Jez Goldson Williams with a shot which Finley did well to save. Before then, Bertram saved a Declan Rogers free kick. And as the first half went on, nice passing from the home side set up a chance for Jordan Avis to fire home. Passed Finley into the corner for the equaliser in the 30th minute. Another chance for deeping. Golson Williams there curling an effort wide. That would fall Rogers and a shot deflected wide after a good run by Tommy Berwick. Although the rest of the first half remain goalless and that's such at half time. Keeping Rangers 1, FC Russian and Diamonds 1. <laughs> First opportunity of the second half, a tenacious run from Bunting, just about being thwarted by the home defence. For the still new strike partnership of Russ Dunkley and Tommy Berwick here, combined with a neat turn from Berwick, resulting in a nice save from Bircham. That ball, Bircham had to palm over a free kick from Bunting. Rogers again had an opportunity, his shot deflecting wide. And as the second half went on, there was Russ Dunkley with a header in on goal, which deeping just about scrambled clear. But soon after that, it was time for Diamond second, Liam Dolman again from a corner, again heading home, and this time giving Diamonds the lead for the second time in the game in the 64th minute. There a pretty nasty challenge from Scott Ginty resulting in a red card. If you watch it back on the replay, both feet off the ground, you can't quite be sure what Ginty could have had to say to the referee. But as it was, the home side were reduced to 10 men. And Rushton attempted to go for the kill. Second half substitute Tom Lorraine was full of running. He removed going as far as Rogers, who could only shoot at Bircham. Before then, a Lorraine shot parried as far as Berwick was then knocked over. Finley there was scrambling to save second half substitute Mohamed Hamid 
left-footed curling shot. Before Rogers' cross come shot was almost converted by Russ Dunkley. With some heroic last gasp defending kept the score as it was. There was just enough time for fans' favourite Matty Gearing to come on as substitute and therefore appear for the 100th time in a diamond shirt. Let's hope there are many more appearances for the midfielder. Full-time, Deeping Rangers 1, FC Russian and Diamonds 2. And this result leaves Diamonds in the first position in the UCL Premier Division. So here we are after uh, Diamond's 2-1 uh, win against uh, Deeping Rangers here in Lincolnshire, our last trip today to Lincolnshire. I'm here with uh, Liam Dolman, two goals Liam Dolman. Good win there, Liam. Yeah, very good win. I mean, to be fair, it was tough out there today. I mean, they, they, they played a lot of good football, to be fair to them, which maybe first half, did we give them too much respect? I'm not sure. We didn't get to grips with our shape properly, but second half, I thought we grew into the game and... Although I've got the two goals, we should have we should have um, scored more. To be fair, actually, I thought we actually came out of the blocks a bit quicker today than we have done in recent games. And you got the first goal. Yeah, yeah, we can't, that's what we spoke about in re, in recent weeks in training. We have to come out of the blocks because when we let teams they um, get into the ground, going, it gets more difficult for us. So we have to push teams on the back foot straight away. And we did that today, but um, a sloppy goal from our point of view. But then again, second half we've come on stronger. So we're happy with the three points in the end. And your goals, two goals. Uh, tell us about the first one. Well, we've been working on them in training. and I've just stood there and marked, I think. I don't know where everyone was, but I've just nodded it in. And then, then the second one, we've, we've changed it. Uh, me and Richard have had a word with each other. And then uh, I've just beat the keeper to it, and thankfully it's gone in. And uh, second half, the sending off? Definitely a sending off? I think so, yeah. Obviously, you don't like to see players get sent off, but it's one of them. Tom's got to the ball before him, and he's... His foot studs are showing quite high, but he's, we're happy with the decision we went our way, obviously, but um, maybe that doesn't do the lad justice. See, I thought he was one of their better players, but um, yeah, we're happy with it, but life goes on, don't it? But to credit to Deeping, they didn't give up, actually, even with 10 men. No, they didn't. I mean, they surprised me, because on the pitch, they played a lot of good football, and, and sometimes when you come to places like this and the pitches are, are heavy, you don't think teams are going to play with it, so... For, for 10, 15 minutes in the first half, we, we had backs against the wall, really. So, um, yeah, we're, we're happy to come away with it. And uh, that's our, uh, we only got uh, one point in nine, excluding the Wellingbo game. So, great to get an away win as well. Most definitely. We know what we've got to do. We've got, we've got a long run in now, 13 games left, I think it is. And we're saying in the camp we've got to win them all. And we're full of confidence now. And we've got it in our mindset. And in training, we're working hard that we're going to put a real big shift in to get this club promoted. Well, we all want that. And uh, anything said to Tommy about his miss in the second half? Well, I did say I'll, I'll get us out of it, but he, he, um, it doesn't matter, does it? He's there to miss it, and I'm sure he'll score the next one. Thanks, Liam, and uh, great performance day and two goals. Uh, you're almost getting in that top goal scoring chart. <laughs> It'd be nice, but as long as we get to our goal at the end of the season, then everyone will be happy. Thanks a lot. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thanks. Cheers. I'm now here with uh, Andy Peaks, uh, Diamonds manager after today's 2-1 uh, win against uh, Deeping Rangers. Andy, you said uh, we had 14 cup finals, one's over with. Yeah, one's done and dusted, 13 more to go. And uh, I thought today we got off to a good start. Yeah, no, we've, we said about starting quicker, we hadn't scored enough goals in the first half. Um, yeah, we started well, I thought, got the goal, puts in a good position early on. But what happened with their goal? Were you disappointed that they allowed them back in? Yeah, I was disappointed with their goal. I mean, they've got some good players. They passed the ball well, but we dropped a little bit deep and gave them a little bit too much room and they scored the goal. I thought, other than that first half, I thought we played quite well. Looked quite dangerous going forward. So we was quite happy at half-time, just disappointed to concede the goal. So half-time, Tito, wasn't too bad? No, it was fine. I thought we were playing OK. You know, they're a good side. They're on a good run themselves, so it's never going to be easy. I thought we were doing some good stuff. Uh, it was more of the same. We looked at changing the shape if we needed to, which is what eventually we did do. And second half, I thought we dominated even with the sending off. Yeah, and no, I thought before, even before that, I thought it was, you know, we were in the ascendancy all the time. So we changed the shape a little bit because we felt we wanted to match them up in there. Uh, and it seemed to work quite well. Actually, Tom Ryan came on, he gave us a bit of legs up there as well, got in some good areas. And yeah, I thought it was us always looked like getting the third goal as well, really. Well, you know how bad I am with tactics. You went 4 3 3, or am I wrong? We went, yeah, we went to a degree. We, yeah, we put 4 3 3, if you like. Yeah, four, yeah two sitters, and then the th yeah, one in, just in the hole in front, and then the three at the top. Yeah. And Tom brought on for a bit extra height because I think they were struggling in the air at the back. 
They were, no, we just, we just wanted to change. We wanted to put an extra body in the three. You know, it wasn't a great pitch to get it wide. The 4-4-2 we like, it wasn't easy to get it out wide. So we thought we'd put three in there. We're decking that hole where he makes good runs. And obviously brought Shanks on up front to just ask a few more questions of him. And he actually caused some problems on that right, on that left-hand side. Yeah, no, he caused him a lot of problems, didn't he? A bit of pace and he got in behind. And he was, he was definitely a threat, which was so it worked, really. I thought Tommy had a good game today. He worked hard, and uh, after we saw him in his first game, he obviously got the, the rustiness out of those legs. Tommy always works hard, to be funny. He sits back in with the team, he works hard to get the ball back, and I thought, again, I thought he looked a threat. He just needs that first goal now, doesn't he? And anything you want to say about the miss? No, I think the miss said it all, but he struck it too well. He probably kicked it best contact anyone had of the ball all game. But one of them, another time he'd score, at least he, you know, it wasn't a vital that he did score in this situation because we were winning anyway. But yeah, he'd normally score that. Please be your uh, centre half. Two good goals from Liam. I'm delighted because we trained. We watched them the other week and we thought of vulnerable at set pieces. Um, we set up exactly as it, we set it up. It worked. We knew if we could get a decent ball in, we had a chance. It was difficult with these conditions to get good delivery, but luckily the two we got in, he was right on hand to head it in. I was thinking before the game, uh, excluding the Wellingborough game, which I don't count as an away game, we actually only got one point out of nine. So great to get another win. Yeah, no, it's all about winning. We know, we know the situation we're in. We know the other teams around us. I keep saying it's about us, really. We have to win as many games as we can and see where it takes us. If other people slip up or whatever, so be it. But I want to make sure we get as many points as we can. So an 11-point cushion going into next week's home game, I think. We've only got uh, one out of the next five at home. Yeah, no, it's important we win next week. So we've had them watched again today, like we always do. So we'll get some stats on them this week. We'll train accordingly. And we'll be looking to bounce and get another three points next week. So 13 cup finals to go. 13 to go and counting, mate. Thanks, Andy. Take care. Cheers, mate. Pleasure.